Hey everyone, Cody here, and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how I made this painting right here. Um, I made it by using a large sheet of acrylic, and uh, not acrylic paint, but acrylic plastic. Um, and the acrylic was actually about the size, I think, of the painting. It was two foot by four foot. Essentially, I put the paint on the, you know, the acrylic, and then scraped it across the painting and I actually like the painting quite a bit I'm gonna you're gonna see it in the video but I'll just kind of give you an overview of the painting just to kind of show it to you um, but essentially I'll just kind of go over it briefly because I will be talking during the painting so the colors are blue green um, like a mustard yellow and then like a, a burnt crimson they're all kind of like a pastel colors and they're the same colors of the painting i did in the video before this if you haven't watched that already and now when i just poured the paint and this one i actually put it on the acrylic and scraped it you're going to see that now let me talk about some of the challenges i ran into um, first off because it was mounted vertically um, because the gloss enamel that i use is very fluid and so it wanted to run off the sides of the acrylic so that was one challenge. Another challenge was trying to figure out if it was easier to put it onto the actual canvas or onto the acrylic. So you're gonna see me uh, running into that. Another challenge that I ran into was once it was, because the, the acrylic that I used in the video was brand new, as in I had ripped off like the protective plastic off of it uh, right before I painted this painting. So I had never used it before. And so because of that, when I put the, um, acrylic up to the painting up to the canvas with the paint on it there was a little bit of static on it I believe and so because of that when I put it up to the painting and then pulled it down it kind of stuck and I think it's because a there was some suction between the, the you know the fluid of the paint versus the dryness of the canvas but also too I think there was a little static buildup on it so you'll see me like literally pushing it down with my fingers to to pull it down because of the stack so i would recommend maybe washing it off before you use it to, to dispense some of that um, static now i think that gerard richter who is kind of one of my i'm not gonna say idols but uh someone that i i kind of follow and studied you know he uses these large sheets of acrylic that he scrapes the painting with and i think that one of the reasons his sheets are thinner is because with it being so wide when it got stuck, it was, it was a real pain to kind of pull through the painting. At the same time, it made kind of an interesting look on the painting. So you really just kind of have to work with it. Now, the last challenge that I kind of ran into is that you'll notice that there's no handles on it. And I tried to put handles onto it. Like I tried to use some uh, scrap pieces of wood that I had, and I was going to screw them on there to make handles to be able to you know, grab the acrylic and, and pull it down. But the problem that I ran into is that as soon as I put one screw into it, it actually cracked like, like a bullet hole almost, and it started to splinter. So I was like, I couldn't even put handles into it. Now I've seen some other videos where people use uh, acrylic to make these types of paintings, and a lot of them would glue the handles on. And I thought, well, wouldn't screws be more, um, you know, wouldn't, wouldn't they be more secure? Well, then I know why they glued them instead of uh, paint, instead of screwing them on there because it started to crack the acrylic just with that very first screw. Um, so that's why there's no handles on it. I may attach them later, but that's why you don't see any in the video. Uh, that's pretty much it. Uh, you'll see the whole process of, you know, me struggling with the paint and putting it on there. Uh, I think overall, I, I do like the painting. Um, it actually turned out pretty decent. One problem I have with it is that there was a hair in the paint and I had to pull it out and it left like the little mark of the hair. So I'm not comfortable selling the painting knowing that. It's just something, it's just, that's just me. Uh, but I would give it away because it actually still looks really good. And if you're a little distance, like this far away, you actually can't see that mark. But if you get up close, you, you can see the outline. So, you know, I think it's a great painting and, and it's, I would give it away. Um, but I don't know how that's going to look, um, just my personal preference. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and head over and you can see me uh, make this painting from scratch. Breathe. 
I fall. 